in the figures angle 3 angle 5 and angle 4 angle 6 form pairs of alternate interior angles on the other hand a pair of angles in which one arm of each of the angles is on opposite sides of the transversal and whose other arm is directed in opposite sense and does not include the segment LM is called a pair of alternate exterior angles. In the on-screen figure, angle 2, angle 8 and angle 1, angle 7 form pairs of alternate exterior angles. Let us state some results when a transversal cuts two parallel lines. The following are the results. If a transversal cuts two parallel lines, then pairs of corresponding angles are equal, pairs of alternate angles are equal, the sum of interior angles or exterior angles on the same side of the transversal is equal to 180 degree. But these results hold good only if the lines are parallel. In case we measure the pairs of corresponding angles, like in the figure on screen, we shall see that they are not equal. The pairs of alternate angles 3, 5, 4, 6, 2, 8 and 1, 7 are also unequal. Similarly, the sum of interior or exterior angles on the same side of the transversal 4 and 5 or 3 and 6 or 2 and 7 or 1 and 8 is not 180 degree. Thus we conclude, if a transversal cuts two lines such that any one of the following conditions is true, pairs of corresponding angles are equal, pairs of alternate angles are equal, sum of interior angles or exterior angles on the same side of the transversal is equal to 180 degree, then only the two lines are parallel. Let us understand this by means of an example. In the figure given, if AB is parallel to CD and angle 1 is equal to 80 degree, find the other angles. Let us find the measures of angle 2, angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, angle 6, angle 7 and angle 8. In the figure on screen, when given is angle 1 is equal to 80 degree. Since angle 1 and angle 3 are vertically opposite angles, so angle 3 is equal to angle 1 is equal to 80 degree. But angle 3 and angle 5 are alternate angles, so angle 5 is equal to angle 3 is equal to 180 degree. Again, Angle 4 and angle 5 are interior angles on the same side of the transversal. So, angle 4 plus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree. Which gives angle 4 is equal to 180 degree minus angle 5 is equal to 180 degree minus 80 degree is equal to 100 degree. Angle 2 and angle 4 are vertically opposite. So angle 2 is equal to angle 4 is equal to 100 degree. But angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles. So angle 6 is equal to angle 2 is equal to 100 degree. Similarly, angle 3 and angle 7 are corresponding angles. So angle 7 is equal to angle 3 is equal to 80 degree. Lastly, angle 4 and angle 8 are also corresponding angles. So, angle 8 is equal to angle 4 is equal to 100 degree.